the universe abhors a vacuum and if you have uh, creative space to fill, then creative ideas will fill it. In fact, I think that all of us are creative geniuses innately. And the only thing most of us lack is a system for capturing and harnessing the ideas that we naturally generate. Because if you think about it, I mean, when do we usually have ideas? You know, in the showers, whenever you can't capture it, right? <laughs> whenever you're not at your workstation or in your office or whatever it is. And one way that I think of the distributed cognition ecosystem, which is a network of tools, systems, and processes that you create for yourself, around yourself to support your own natural creative process, kind of the way a spider builds its web and a spider, you know, anywhere it goes, it can put out a web. The, the distributed cognition ecosystem is, is like a web for capturing all of your creative ideas and harnessing them to be cultivated and nurtured and harvested. Or it's kind of like for the nerds out there, like a Dyson sphere, like there's like in that episode of Star Trek where there's a sphere built around an entire star to, to harness all the energy output, you know, <laughs> built by a very advanced civilization. Like <laughs> if we could just build a reliable, trusted system outside and around your head to capture all of your natural creative output. I believe all of us would be natural creative. All of us are natural creative geniuses. That's so well said. And I think a lot of it is like social construct. Like if you have a creative idea and you pass it by someone without the right context or when it's too early in its stages, people go, oh, that's crazy. Or, oh, that'll never work. Or why do you want to do that? <laughs> you know? And if you just let it grow and you bounce off the right people and you have the right resources and the timing's right, any idea can become really interesting. Yeah, if you have the open space and the systems to focus and harness creative energy, amazing things can happen. And the good news is we're actually sitting on top of a, of a gold mine of human potential just based on the cognitive surplus alone. Clay Shirky did a TED talk on the cognitive surplus that's um, just by the number of thought hours that uh, people spend watching television kind of measured in units of the number of thought hours put into creating Wikipedia. And like, basically we, we waste something like two or three Wikipedia's worth cognitive surplus of idle human CPUs just on watching television and, and consumptive kind of idle consumptive activities. So if we just replace a portion of that with creative constructive work, we have two or three Wikipedia's worth of new ideas and systems and, and value and art and everything else that human beings can create. 